Bang! Is that what happens when your washing machine changes cycles? Well, you know what, folks? That's water hammer. Stay tuned. That's what this video is all about. Hey folks, it's Bob here. If you find these videos helpful, please, please hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to claim your free video series, The 7 Things You Shouldn't Have to Pay a Plumber to Do. And to learn more about how to prevent a plumbing disaster in your home, check out my new video course, The No-Brainer Home Plumbing Inspection Checklist. Happy plumbing! Hey folks, Bob here from BobsPlumbingVideos.com. Let me ask you a question. When your washing machine changes cycles, do you get a huge bang throughout the house? Well, that's water hammer, folks, and this one little device can solve your problem. But before I show you how to install this on your washing machine, I'm going to jump into a little screencast, give you a little overview, brief overview about water hammer. Then we're going to come back to the bench, and I'm going to show you how to install these on your washing machine. Stay tuned. Okay, so although this video is going to be about your washing machine in particular, because that's where I get the biggest number of complaints about noise when the washing machine goes through its cycles. I just wanted to give you a little brief overview of water hammer. So up at the top there, you can see naturally when the valve is off, the water is just in the pipe, just sitting still, minding its own business. When you do open up a faucet or you flush a toilet bowl, you turn your dishwasher on, you turn your washing machine on, water starts to flow. And down at the bottom there, you're going to see that if you do have very high incoming water pressure and you do close that valve abruptly, you are going to get water hammered, which is a shock wave. And that's going to just back up inside the pipes. And if you have loose pipes, uh, if you have weak pipes, uh, eventually over time, you could, you know, cause a leak. Uh, you could cause a lot of problems and, uh, over there on the left are some reasons or some uh, things you can do to reduce this. Now, the number one thing there up at the top is reduce the incoming water pressure, which may or may not be, you know, possible. But in parts of California, they have very high incoming water pressure and they are required to install pressure reducing valves. I think their incoming water pressures are in excess of 100 pounds. In the New York area, we're looking at pressures anywhere. I've seen them from a low of 40 up to as high as 80. Uh, the second thing you can do, and probably the most economical thing you can do without having to open up walls and install water hammer arresters inside the walls is, is install aftermarket or mechanical water arresters outside. Uh, you can also ensure all your pipe work is securely fixed to the wall, make sure it's strapped and secure. And you might even want to separate and insulate some or all of your water lines. Um, the biggest complaint I get are from people's uh, washing machines when they shut off or they change cycles. Uh, I mean, people can actually see the hoses bouncing around and they'll get excessive banging. And sometimes even with modern day toilets, because the valves we have today basically shut off on a dime. I mean, when the tank gets to that full level, the valve just shuts very, very quickly. And that will also cause water pipes to bang or you'll experience water hammer. So let's jump down to the bench and I'm going to show you what I do to, to alleviate this problem on washing machines. And I'll, and I'll also, you know, tell you about the, this company, Sue Chief, which is a company that makes plumbing specialty items. And they've, come up with this wonderful little mini rester that uh, you can install on your washing machine and eliminate this annoying and potentially dangerous problem. So uh, I will see you down on the bench. All right, so hopefully you guys have a little bit better understanding about wood hammer. And basically, these are very simple devices. They're pre-charged water hammer arresters. And they are to be installed on, on the back of your washing machine. Now, normally your washing machine is going to have the hoses going directly into the back of the machine. And what you would do simply is remove your existing hoses. And let me tell you that if you have rubber hoses, I would uh, encourage you to get rid of them and get some stainless steel hoses. And generally um, on washing machines, just as in faucets, you're going to have the cold water is going to be on the right and you're gonna have the hot water on the left. And these get installed on the washing machine, on the back of the washing machine, and your hoses get connected here. So 
your stainless steel hoses would get connected to the bottom of these mini arresters. Very simply. Now, there are some machines out there that have their connections vertical, meaning you have the cold on top, the hot on the bottom. And Suit Chief says that these don't have to be in the upright position. You can put them on an angle. So in a case where you have vertical connections, you simply would just put one on top of the other, just like this, and simply you would get your stainless steel hoses and you would come in and install them on the bottom. Again, just like this. Very, very simple. The opposite end naturally is going to be connected to your, your hose bib. At least you should have hose bibs coming out the other end on the wall as such. So you'll have your stainless steel hose connected to your hose bib. And the other end of the hose gets connected to the bottom of the water hammer arrestor as such. Just like this. So whether you have vertical or horizontal connections. Now, let me just bring one of these up here to show you that what they did was put extensions on these. If you can see this extension, because... On some stackable washers and dryers, the actual dryer that sits on top of the washing machine will, 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 will stick out a little further. It's not flush. The backs aren't flush. So Sioux Chief put these little extensions on there so that they'll, they'll clear the dryer on top. So that is the idea behind this little extension here. It's to give you a little more, uh, uh, you know, a little more options in terms of connecting it to a stackable washer and dryer. But folks, these things are the simplest and most economical way of eliminating water hammer, especially in a washing machine situation. Now, Sioux Chief makes uh, a whole line of water hammer arresters that can be installed in various locations. And what I'll do is I'm gonna leave a, a link in the description box below to their website. And I'll also I'll leave a link where you can purchase these mini resters. But for the money folks, um, it's the most economical way that you can go about eliminating that annoying bang. I know a lot of people, you know, kind of live with it, but that's not a good thing because you have really weak pipes or old pipes and, and really, you know, um, uh, an ancient plumbing system, you can cause really, really potentially uh, money costing problems to your home because it won't take much for one day. You'll get a huge bang and, and you know, one of those lines will break behind the wall and then you'll be in trouble. I encourage you, if you're having that problem with your washing machine, go out and get yourself some mini resters. Install them on your washing machine. You're going to be on your way to a quiet, quiet uh, washing machine cycle. And that's it for this video, folks. Not too long. Very simple. Very short. Very sweet. Um, again, I encourage you to check out Suit Chief. Look at their whole line of mini resters. And if you have any questions, as usual, you can contact me. Info at bobsplumbingvideos.com. Please, if you're new here, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Leave a comment down below. And uh, again, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Happy plumbing.